Fez, Morocco, Wikipedia Audio Fez is a city in northern inland Morocco and the capital of the FES Meknes administrative region. It is the second largest city of Morocco after Casablanca, with a population of 1.1 million. Located to the northeast of Atlas Mountains, Fez is situated at the crossroad of the important cities of all regions, 206 km from Tangier to the northwest, 246 km from Casablanca, 169 km from Rabat to the west, and 387 km from Marrakesh to the southwest which leads to the Trans-Saharan trade route. It is surrounded by the high grounds, and the old city is penetrated by the river of Fez flowing from the west to east. Fez was founded under the Idrisid rule during the 8th to 9th century. It consisted of two autonomous and competing settlements. The migration of 2,000 Arab families in the early 9th century gave the nascent city its Arabic character. After the downfall of the Idrisid dynasty, several empires came and went until the 11th century when the Almoravid Sultan Yusuf ibn Tashfin united the two settlements and rebuilt the city, which became today's Fes El Bali quarter. Under the Almoravid rule, the city gained the reputation for the religious scholarship and the mercantile activity. Fez was expanded during the Almohad rule and became the largest city in the world during 1170-1180 with the estimated population of 200,000. Fez reached its zenith in the Marinid era, regaining the status as the capital. Numerous madrasas, mosques, zawayas, and city gates were constructed which survived up until today. These buildings are considered the hallmarks of Moorish and Moroccan architectural styles. Marinid sultans also founded Fes Jadid Quarter, where newer palaces and gardens were established. During this time, the Jewish population of the city grew as well, with the Mela attracting the Jewish migrants from other North African regions. After the overthrow of the Marinid dynasty, the city largely declined and replaced by Marrakesh for political and cultural influence, but remained as the capital under the Wada Sids and modern Morocco until 1912. Etymology Today, the city largely consists of two old Medina quarters, Fes El Bali and Fes Jadid and modern urban area of Ville Nouvelle constructed during the French colonial era. The Medina of Fez is listed as a World Heritage Site and is believed to be one of the world's largest urban pedestrian zones. It has the University of al Qurayween, which was founded in 859 and the oldest continuously functioning university in the world. It also has Chora Tannery from the 11th century, one of the oldest tanneries in the world. The city has been called the Mecca of the West and the Athens of Africa, a nickname it shares with Cyrene in Libya. The Arabic word? Fa, S means pickaxe, which legends say Idrisai of Morocco used when he created the lines of the city. One noticeable thing was that the pickaxe was made from silver and gold. Antwerp, Belgium, since 2000. Montpellier, France, since 1961, Strasbourg, France, since 1961, Florence, Italy, since 1961, Kerwa, Tunisia, since 1965, Tlemcen, Algeria, since 1969, St. Louis, Senegal, since 1979, Córdoba, Andalusia, Spain, since 1982, East Jerusalem, Palestinian territories since 1982, Izmir, Turkey, since 1995, Bobodio Alasso, Burkina Faso, 
since 2003, Suwon, South Korea, since 2003, Coimbra, Portugal, Lahore, Pakistan, Multan, Pakistan, Puebla City, Mexico. During the rule of the Idrisid dynasty, Fez consisted of two cities, Faz el Bailai, founded by Idris I, and Al, Aliyah, founded by his son, Idris II. During Idrisid rule the capital city was known as Al, Aliyah, with the name Faz being reserved for the separate site on the other side of the river, no Idrisid coins have been found with the name Fez, only Al, Aliyah and Al, Aliyah Madinat Idris. It is not known whether the name Al, Aliyah ever referred to both urban areas. It wasn't until 1070 that the two agglomerations were united and the name Faz was used for the combined site. The city was founded on a bank of the Jahar River by Idris I in 789, founder of the Idrisid dynasty. His son, Idris II, built a settlement on the opposing river bank. These settlements would soon develop into two walled and largely autonomous sites, often in conflict with one another, Madinat Faz and al -Aliya. In 808 al Aliyah replaced Walalai as the capital of the Idrisids. Arab emigration to Fez, including 800 Andalusi families of Berber descent in 817-818 expelled after a rebellion against the Umayyads of Cordoba, Andalusia, and 2,000 Arab families banned from Kerwa after another rebellion in 824, gave the city its Arabic character. The Andalusians settled in what is called the Old Fez, while the Tunisians found their home in the New Fez, also called al -Aliya. These two waves of immigrants would subsequently give their name to the sites Adwat al-Andalus and Adwat al karawiyan The majority of the population was of Arab descent, and the minority was of North African Berber descent with rural Berbers from the surrounding countryside settling there throughout this early period, mainly in Madinat Faz and later in Fesj Did. Upon the death of Idris II in 828, the dynasty's territory was divided among his sons. The eldest, Muhammad, received Fez. The newly fragmented Idrisid power would never again be reunified. During Yahya ibn Muhammad's rule in Fez the Karoyin Mosque, one of the oldest and largest in Africa, was built and its associated University of al Qurayween was founded. Comparatively little is known about Idrisid Fez, owing to the lack of comprehensive historical narratives and that little has survived of the architecture and infrastructure of early Fez. The sources that mention Idrisid Fez, describe a rather rural one, not having the cultural sophistication of the important cities of Al-Andalus and Afriqiya. In the 10th century the city was contested by the Caliphate of Cordoba and the Fatimid Caliphate of Tunisia, who ruled the city through a host of Zanata clients. The Fatimids took the city in 927 and expelled the Idris Sids, after which their Manasa were installed there. The Manasa were driven out of Fez in 980 by the Makrawa, their fellow Zanata, allies of the Caliphate of Cordoba. It was in this period that the great Andalusian ruler Almanzar commissioned the Makrawa to rebuild and refurnish the al Karwa Mosque, giving it much of its current appearance. According to the Rod al Kurdas and other Marinid era sources, the Makra'i Amir Dunas al Makra'i filled up the open spaces between the two Medinas and the banks of the river, dividing them with new constructions. Thus, the two cities grew into each other, being now only separated by their walls and the river. His sons fortified the city to a great extent. This could not keep the Al Moravid Amir Ibn Tashfin from conquering it in 1070 
after more than a decade of battling the Zanata warriors in the area and constant besieging of the city. In 1033, several thousand Jews were killed in the Fez massacre. Madinat Fawz and al Aliyah were united in 1070 by the al Moravid dynasty, the walls dividing them were destroyed, bridges connecting them were built, and connecting walls were constructed that unified the Medinas. Under al Moravid patronage the largest expansion and renovation of the Great Mosque of Kerwa took place. Although the capital was moved to Marrakesh under the al Moravids, Fez acquired a reputation for Maliki legal scholarship and became an important center of trade. Al-Moravid impact on the city's structure was such that the second Al-Moravid ruler, Yusuf ibn Tashfin, is often considered to be the second founder of Fez. History Like many Moroccan cities, Fez was greatly enlarged during the Almohad Caliphate and saw its previously dominating rural aspect lessen. This was accomplished partly by the settling there of Andalusians and the further improvement of the infrastructure. At the start of the 13th century they broke down the Idrisid city walls and constructed new ones, which covered a much wider space. These Almohad walls exist to this day as the outline of Fes el Bali. Under Almohad rule the city grew to become the largest in the world between 1170 and 1180, with an estimated 200.000 people living there. In 1250 Fez regained its capital status under the Marinid dynasty. In 1276 after a massacre by the population to kill all Jews that was stopped by intervention of the emir, they founded Fes Jadid, which they made their administrative and military center. Fez reached its golden age in the Marinid period, which marked the beginning of its official, historical narrative. It is from the Marinid period that Fez's reputation as an important intellectual center largely dates. They established the first madrasas in the city and country. The principal monuments in the Medina, the residences, and public buildings, date from the Marinid period. The madrasas are a hallmark of Marinid architecture, with its striking blending of Andalusian and Almohad traditions. Between 1271 and 1357 seven madrasas were built in Fez, the style of which has come to be typical of Fasi architecture. The Jewish quarter of Fez, the Mela was built in 1438, near the royal residence in Fez Jadid. The Mela at first consisted of Jews from Fez el Bali and soon saw the arrival of Berber Jews from the Atlas Range and Jewish immigrants from Al Andalus. The Marinids spread the cult of Idrisai and encouraged Sharifism, financing Sharifian families as a way to legitimize their rule. From the 14th century onwards, hundreds of families throughout Morocco claimed descent from Idrisai especially in Fez and the Rif Mountains. In this regard they can be seen as the enablers of the latter Sharifian dynasties of Morocco. The 1465 Moroccan Revolt in 1465 overthrew the last Marinid Sultan. In 1474 the Marinids were replaced by their relatives of the Wadisid dynasty, who faithfully continued Marinid policies. After the fall of the Marinids, the city remained the capital of Morocco under the Wada Sids. However, in the 16th century, the Saudis, based in Marrakesh, would attempt to overthrow the Wada Sids. In the meanwhile, the Ottoman Empire came close to Fez after the conquest of Ujda in the 16th century. In January 1549 the Saudi Sultan Mohammed Ash Sheikh took Fez and ousted the last Wadisid Sultan Ali Abu Hassoun. 
They later retook the city in 1553 with Ottoman support. However, this reconquest was short-lived, and in 1554 the Wada Sids were decisively defeated in the Battle of Tadla by the Saudis. The Ottomans would try to invade Morocco after the assassination of Mohammed Ash Sheik in 1558, but were defeated by his son Abdallah al Ghalib at the Battle of Wadi al Laban north of Fez. Hence, Morocco remained the only North African state to deter and defeat the Ottomans. After the death of Abdallah al Ghalib, a new power struggle would emerge after Abd al-Malik would take Fez with Ottoman support and oust his nephew Abu Abdullah. The latter would flee to Portugal where he asked King Sebastian of Portugal for help to regain his throne. This would lead to the Battle of Alcacer Quibir where Abd al-Malik's army would defeat the invading Portuguese army with the support of his Ottoman allies, ensuring Moroccan independence. Abd al-Malik himself also died during the battle and would be succeeded by Ahmed al-Mansur. After the fall of the Saudi dynasty, Fez was a major trading post of the Barbary coast of North Africa. Until the 19th century it was the only source of Fez's. Then manufacturing began in France and Turkey as well. Originally, the dye for the hats came from a berry that was grown outside the city, known as the Turkish Kizilsik or Greek Akenia. Fez was also the end of a north-south gold trading route from Timbuktu. Fez was a prime manufacturing location for embroidery and leather goods such as the Adarga. The city became independent in 1790, under the leadership of Yazid and later of Abu Arabi Suleiman. In 1795 control of the city returned to Morocco. Fez took part in a rebellion in 1819-1821, led by Ibrahim Ibn Yazid, as well as in the 1832 rebellion led by Muhammad Ibn Tayyib. Foundation and the Idrisids Golden Age and the Marinid Period Following the implementation of the Treaty of Fez, the city was heavily damaged in the 1912 Fez riots and belonged to French Morocco until 1956. Modern Period Climate Subdivisions Landmarks Medina of Fez Fez was the capital of Morocco until 1925. Rabat then remained the capital even after Morocco achieved independence in 1955. Despite its traditional character, there is a modern section, the Ville Nouvelle or New City. Today it is a bustling commercial center. The popularity of the Fez has increased since present ruler. King Mohammed VI of Morocco, married a woman from Fez, Salma Benani. Place Lala Yedouna at the heart of the Medina is currently undergoing reconstruction and preservation measures following a design competition sponsored by the Millennium Challenge Corporation and the Government of the Morocco. The construction projects scheduled for completion in 2016 encompass historic preservation of particular buildings, construction of new buildings that fit into the existing urban fabric and regeneration of the riverfront. The intention is to not only preserve the quality and characteristics of the UNESCO World Heritage Site, but to encourage the development of the area as a sustainable, mixed-use area for artisanal industries and local residents. Madrasas Located by the Atlas Mountains, Fez has a Mediterranean climate with a strong continental influence, shifting from relatively cool and wet in the winter to dry and hot days in the summer months between June and September. Rainfall can reach up to 800 mm on good years. 
The winter highs typically reach around 15 degrees Celsius in December-January. Frost is not uncommon during the winter period. The highest and lowest temperatures ever recorded in the city are 46.7 degrees Celsius and minus 8.2 degrees Celsius, respectively. Fez's climate is strongly similar to that of Seville and Córdoba, Andalusia, Spain. Snowfall on average occurs once every three to five years. Fez recorded snowfall in three straight years in 2005, 2006 and 2007. The prefecture is divided administratively into the following. The historic city of Fez consists of Fes el Bali, the original city founded by the Idrisid dynasty on both shores of the Oued Fes in the late 8th and early 9th centuries and the smaller Fez el Jadid, founded on higher ground to the west in the 13th century. It is distinct from Fez's now much larger Ville Nouvelle originally founded by the French. Fez el Bali is the site of the famous Karawian University and the Mausoleum of Muli Idris II, the most important religious and cultural sites, while Fez el Jadid is the site of the enormous royal palace still used by the King of Morocco today. These two historic cities are linked together and are usually referred to together as the Medina of Fez, though this term is sometimes applied more restrictively to Fes el Bali only. Fez is becoming an increasingly popular tourist destination and many non-Moroccans are now restoring traditional houses as second homes in the Medina. Fez is also considered the cultural and spiritual capital of Morocco. In 1981, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization proclaimed Medina of Fez a world cultural heritage site, as include a considerable number of religious, civil and military monuments that brought about a multicultural society. This architecture is characterized by construction techniques and decoration developed over a period of more than 10 centuries, and where local knowledge and skills are interwoven with diverse outside inspiration. The Medina of Fez is considered as one of the most extensive and best conserved historic towns of the Arab Muslim world. The city has traditionally retained the influential position as a religious capital in the region exemplified by the Madrasa of al Qurayween, which was established in 859 by Fatima al-Firi originally as a mosque. The Madrasa is the oldest existing, continually operating, and the first degree awarding educational institution in the world according to UNESCO and Guinness World Records. During the Marinid rule, Fez was designated as the political and religious capital of the empire partly due to the Sultan Abu Yaqub Yusuf's intention to mitigate the tension between the ulamas in the old city. This had led to the great attention by the government to the construction of the madrasas following the Maliki orthodoxy, which resulted in the unprecedented prosperity of the city's religious institutions. The first madrasa built during the Marinid era was Safaran Madrasa in Fes el Bali by Abu Yaqub Yusuf. Sultan Abu al-Hasan was the most prolific patron of the madrasa construction, completing the Al-Adaran, Mesbaiya, and Saraj madrasa in Fez alone, and several other madrasas as well in other cities such as Sale and Meknes. His son Abu Inan Faris built the famed Bu Inaniya madrasa, and by the time of his death, every major city in the Marinid Empire had at least one madrasa. The additional library was established as well for the Madrasa of al Qurayween in 1349, which stores a large selection of valuable manuscripts dating back to the medieval era. The largest madrasa in the Medina is Shuradin Madrasa commissioned by the Alawite Sultan al-Rashid in 1670 which is the only non-Marinid foundation besides the Madrasa of al-Qurayween. 
The entire Medina of Fez was heavily fortified with crenellated walls which equip heavy watch towers and gates, a pattern of urban planning which can be seen in Sale and Chula as well. City walls were placed into the current positions during the 11th century, under the Almoravid rule. During this period, the two divided cities of Fez were united under the single enclosure. The structures of Almoravid era were later destroyed and subsequently rebuilt by the Almohad dynasty in the 12th century. These fortifications were completed and formed into the current shape under the Marinid rule during the 12th to 16th centuries, along with the founding of Fez Jadid. The gates of Fez are adjacent to these city walls, and guarded by the military detachments and shut at night. During its development in the 9th century, Fez El Bali was enclosed by the eight main gates. After the foundation of Fez Jadid by the Marinids in the 13th century on the outside of these gates, new walls and three new gates such as Bab al Amr were established as perimeters between these two Medinas. The construction of the new gates employed the Christian labor. Additional gates were constructed during the Alawit era, most notably Bab Buj allowed in 1913. Other remaining gates of Fez today include Bab El Saba, Bab Semarin, Bab Al Fitu, Bab Maruk, and Bab Kerfa. Along with the city walls and gates, several forts were constructed as defensive perimeters of the Medina during the different time periods. The military watchtowers built in its early days during the Idrisid era were relatively small. However, the city rapidly developed as the military garrison center of the region during the Almoravid era, in which the military operations were commanded and carried out to other North African regions and southern Europe to the north, and Senegal River to the south. Subsequently, it led to the construction of numerous forts, kasbahs, and towers against the foreign invasions. Kasbah in the context of Maghrebi region is the traditional military structure for fortification, military preparation, and command and control. Some of them were occupied as well by the citizens, certain tribal groups, and merchants. Throughout the history, 13 kasbahs were constructed surrounding the old city. The most prominent among them is Kasbah in Nwayer which dates back to the Almohad era, located at the western or northwestern tip of Fes El Bali. Today, the Kasbah is a residential district much like the rest of the Medina. The Kasbah is equipped with the Friday Mosque and Bab Kerfa entrance gate. Other Kasbahs including Kasbah Sher Arda located on the outskirts of Fes El Bali. It was first established during the Saudi era in the 16th century and later refurbished by the Alawit Sultan Malay al-Rashid as a fortress. Kasbah Dar Debibah is a relatively new Kasbah built in 1729 during the Alawit era at 2 km from the city wall in a strategic position. To the north there is Borje Nord which dates back to the Saudi era and among the largest defensive structures in the city, now refurbished as a military museum. Since the inception of the city, tanning industry has been continually operating in the same fashion as it did in the early centuries. Today, the tanning industry in the city is considered one of the main tourist attractions. There are three tanneries in the city, Largest among them is Chura Tannery near the Safaran Madrasa along the river, built in the 11th century. The tanneries are packed with the round stone wells filled with dye or white liquids for softening the hides. The leather goods produced in the tanneries are exported around the world. Fortifications Located in the heart of Fes El Bali, the Zawiya of Muli Idris II is a Zawiya dedicated to and contains the tomb of Idris II who is considered the main founder of the city of Fez. Within the Medina quarter, 
there exists as well the Zawiya of Sidi Ahmed Al Tijani, which commemorates Sidi Ahmed Al Tijani, the founder of Tijani Yatarika from the 18th century. To the north, there are Marinid tombs built during the 14th century as a necropolis for the Marinid sultans. There are numerous old mosques in the Medina, some of which are adjacent to the respective Madrasa, Zawiya, or Kasbah. Among the oldest are the Mosque of al Qurayyan, the mosque adjacent to its university, which dates back to 857, the Andalusian Mosque which dates back to 859 to 860 with the minaret erected in 956, Masjid Ali Bawaleb from 1090, Bujalaub Mosque from 1191 to 1214, and the Mosque of the Kasbah Enwayer from around 1200. A number of mosques from the important Marinid era, when Feslj did was created to be the capital of Morocco, and include the Great Mosque of Fez J did from 1279, the Abu al Hasan Mosque from 1341, the Krablin Mosque from 1342, the Al Hamra Mosque from 1350, and the Bab Gisa Mosque from the Rai of Abu al Hasan. Another major but more recent mosque is the Arsif Mosque built in the reign of Muli Slimane. The Zawiya of Muli Idris II and the Zawiya of Sidi Ahmed Al Tijani have their adjacent mosques as well. The Jewish quarter is the site of the 17th century Ibn Danan Synagogue. City Walls and Gates the old city of Fez includes more than a hundred funducks for visiting merchants and travelers alike. Among the prominent funducks are Funduk al Nayarayan, which was built in the 18th century by the Alawit Sultan Amin Adayil, in order to provide the stay and the storage facility for merchants. Older funducks include Funduk Akic from the 16th century. There are other numerous funducks and riads utilized as hotels for the tourism industry. Some of the historical private residences have been turned into tourist attractions, among them is Alamut House of the 17th to 18th century which features prevalent Moroccan architectural style. As a former administrative seat, the city contains several palaces as well. Dar Baithia is a former palace completed in 1897 by the Alawart Sultan Malay Abdelaziz, and turned into a museum in 1915 with around 6,000 collections. On Fesj Did Quarter, there is the 80 hectare wide Royal Palace, or Dar Al Maxan, with imposing gate but not open to the public. The University of Al Qurayyin is the oldest continually operating university in the world. The Al Qurayyin Mosque was founded by Fatima Al Firi in 859 with an associated school, or madrasa, which subsequently became one of the leading spiritual and educational centers of the historic Muslim world. It became a state university in 1963 and remains an important institution of learning today. Forts and Kasbahs Tanneries Tombs and Mausoleums Sidi Mohammed Ben Abdella University is a public university that was founded in 1975 and has two primary campuses in the city. The city has a French international school, Group Scolaire Jean de la Fontaine, serving Moya and section through college. The city is served by Sice Airport. It also has an ONCF train station with lines east to Ujda and west to Tangier and Casablanca. Fez has two football teams, Mas Fez and Widad de Fes. They both play in the Badala the highest tier of the Moroccan football system and play their home matches at the 45,000-seat complex Sportif de Fes Stadium. The Mas Fez basketball team competes in the National 1, 
Morocco's top basketball division. Fez is twinned with Places of worship Residences Education Universities Primary and secondary schools Transport Sport International relations Twin town sister cities Partnerships Notes Footnotes Citations <laughs>